Hey, it's Jared from Brickhouse Media. I want to talk to you today about networking. So a lot of us go to networking events. I love being out in person with networking events, get to meet people, shake hands. It was a really challenging thing during COVID to not be able to do. But I want to show you some of the fails of networking and some of the best practices. These are the basics, but this is what really works and this is what really sticks. So the first thing is when you meet someone, you want to stand out. Maybe that's something you wear, maybe that's something, an attire, an accessory, something that makes you stand out in an event. Maybe it's a colorful tie, maybe it's a pin. Something that makes you stand out from the rest of the crowd. Okay, so that's number one, your appearance. When you first meet someone, they wanna know you, like you, and then trust you to refer or work with you. So those are the goals, that is the goal. So they know who you are, they like who they met, and they trust you, and they may wanna work with you in the future, or refer you, depending on your business model. So the first thing you wanna do is speak clearly. Slow down, don't be thinking about what you're gonna say next, listen to their name, and then say your name clearly. Often we say our name so quickly that we often forget. Hi, my name's Jared Brick. Hi, my name's Jared Brick. My company is Brickhouse Media, nice to meet you. So say your name clearly and your business name if you have one, say it clearly so they can remember it. You wanna be memorable when you meet them. So maybe that's a story, maybe that's something unique about yourself, maybe it's something that you did recently or a trip, something that's gonna stick in their brain that makes you memorable, okay? And the main goal here is they need to leave remembering one thing about you, one thing. Ideally, it's your business, but it may be something memorable in that story that you told. If it's about your business, they need to think, does your business solve a pain? So we are a media company. So often what I want people to be left with is we do video and media. Depending on the environment that I'm in and the organization I'm with, it may be media to be more wide scope or it may be video, okay? But if I were to ramble off, yeah, we do social media, we do marketing, we do email marketing, we do website design, we do video, we do producing, we do strategy. You're flooded with information. You can't remember one thing that we do. And you may do all those things, which is great. But you wanna leave them with one thing that they can remember and take away, okay? Because in the future, when they go back through their mental Rolodex of, wait, I have a need, I have a pain, maybe it's for me, maybe it's for a client. Who was that one person I met? Ah, that was Jared, he does video, okay? They wanna either be able to refer, recommend you, or potentially hire you themselves. The next stage is this is crucial. You have to be able to get in touch with you, okay? So add them on LinkedIn, give them your email, send them an email right in the moment. This is my new thing. I don't hand out business cards anymore. I take their email and I say, hey, let me email you right now so you have my info, or I do the same with text and use a company text line for that. So you wanna make that easy? iPhone has a cool new thing where you put new two phones together and actually shares your contact. So check that out, put the two heads of the phones together. We'll put a video of that right here. So this is the basic. So if you go to network events to try to grow or be referred, that's part of your business model. This will really help. So remember, it's just one thing. So this is Jared Brick from Brickhouse Media. I hope you remember that. And I hope this is helpful. If you have any other ideas and you want us to talk about something else, let us know. And I hope you have great luck on your next networking event. Take care.